Off the cuff. He's awesome. Off the hop. What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Oh No Didn't, a series where I react with you on the latest nerd news, nerd crazes and nerd trailers. Today's episode is Killing Hasselhoff, trailer one. Let's have a look. Mr. Kim, you're sitting with a man who does bad things to good people. You owe me $400,000. You have 72 hours beginning now. You're probably asking yourself how I got into this situation. Let's go back a few days. We're all there for Tony's annual celebrity death pool party. Boom. My pick in the pool every year is David Hasselhoff. Whoever celebrity died first would walk away with $500,000. This is gonna be our year. We own a Hollywood club. All right, this is gonna be a big night. We got us a little problem. What is going on in my VIP suite? Oh my God. Ah! Ah! <laughs> of dealing drugs, sexual assault, plus I owe 400 grand to a goddamn psychopath. Tell me where I can find Chris Kim. He's in some stupid celebrity death pool. If David Hasselhoff dies, he wins half a million dollars. A half mil? I want a piece of that. I do too. I will help you with anything you need. With the death pool money, that, that makes no sense. So, hey, you know what they need you to do? Yeah, it's a shame though. I'm a fan of David Hasselhoff. He's a beautiful man. You people confuse the hell out of me. Oh, black people? No, gay people. Okay, that's confusing to some people. I get it. I actually wrote a list of the many ways to kill. Gun, scarf, caught in sidecar. You've got a sidecar? He's awesome. No. It's off the hoof. What's going on? He's in way over his head. Yes, he is. I'm just making stuff as I go along. Ah! I'm not like Dexter or anything. No, he plans things out. Oh, run! Oh, my oh, God. Save him! Aren't you a lifeguard? No, no, I just play one on TV. What? Why is he running in slow motion? <laughs> That's the sexiest shit I've seen in my life. Either I'll murder you right here, or I'll murder that ass. No, is there another choice? Okay. <laughs> I mean, all right. We'll leave that. All right, guys. Well, that. <laughs> I mean, it, yeah, funny potential, right? Killing Hasselhoff. I mean, it's so funny that in everything that you see David Hasselhoff in it, he does always play himself in, in like cameos and things like that. So it does not surprise me that he's doing this. Uh, but I am surprised by the other talent on board. Alright, so I've done a little bit of research and I'm kind of confused because a lot of the trailers have been released over the last 24 hours. And yet, if I go on IMDb, it says the movie came out last year. Uh, but I've then gone on YouTube and had a look and it isn't showing any more trailers before now. So I'm a little confused. Maybe this was released to a select few people. Um, and now it's released to the public. Pretty cool uh, actors actually involved in this. Reese Darby, who is pretty much the quintessential New Zealander. Uh, he's such a funny comedian, underrated comedian in my opinion. You might you might know him from Flight of the Concords or Yes Man with uh, Jim Carrey. He was great in that. Um, but it just seems like, I don't know, kind of like a lot of people are playing themselves. In this movie, so you got Reese Dar Darby, David Hasselhoff, Michael Winslow, crazy right? Howie Mandel's in this. Apparently, Justin Bieber does the voice of Kit in this movie, so I don't know why Kit's in this movie, uh, and I don't know why it's voiced by Justin Bieber. I won't go there. <laughs> um, but yeah, a lot of comedians on board with this. It hasn't reviewed highly, but I mean, who was expecting this to review highly? Um, but it does look. Like, just a load of comedians just having a bit of fun. Um, and I'm down with that. That sounds up my alley. Yeah, so we're gonna go through the trailer again and we'll pick apart a few things. Mr. Kim, you're sitting with a man who does bad things to good people. 
You owe me $400,000. You have 72 hours beginning now. You're probably asking yourself how I got into this situation. Let's go back a few days. We're all there for Tommy's annual celebrity death pool party. Mm. My pick in the pool every year is Sorry. David Hasselhoff. They have a celebrity death pool party? That's pretty cool. Only celebrities can get away with doing that. Hmm. Whoever celebrity died first would walk away with $500,000. That guy sounds like Chris Pratt. Just saying. This is going to be our year. We own a Hollywood club. All right, this is going to be a big night. We got us a little problem. What is going on in my VIP suite? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm accused of dealing that is drugs, pretty funny, sexual assault, say. plus I owe 400 grand to a goddamn psychopath. Tell me where I can find Chris Kim. He's in some stupid celebrity death pool. If David Hasselhoff dies, he wins half a million dollars. Half a million? I want a piece of that. I do too. I will help you with anything you need. The death pool money that night makes no sense. So, you up to speed on what we need you to do? Yeah, it's a shame though. I'm a fan of David Hasselhoff. He's a beautiful man. You people confuse the hell out of me. He... Black people? Oh. No, gay people. Okay. He is a beautiful man, isn't he? David Hasselhoff, beautiful man. Mwah. Oh. No, gay people. Okay, that's confusing to some people. I get it. I actually wrote a list of the many ways to kill gun. Scarf caught in sidecar? Have you got a sidecar? No. What's going on? He's in way over his head. Yes, he is. I'm just making stuff as I go along. Ah! I'm not like Dexter or anything. No, he plans things out. Oh, God! Ah! Oh, my God. Oh, save him! Aren't you a lifeguard? No, no, I just play one on TV. Why is he running He's so old now. <laughs> That's the sexiest shit I've seen in my life. It was pretty sexy. Either I murder you right here, or I murder that ass. Oh, is there another choice? All right. You know what? As I said, I'm down with sort of celebrities having fun. The movie is completely self-aware, right? They're all in on it, they just are having a bit of fun with this, and I think that, why not, that's that's great, that's awesome. The, you know what surprises me? That this is uh, being made by WWE Studios. Who knew that it was WWE movies? I didn't know. Now that I think about it, does that mean that all the movies that starred John Cena, were they WWE movies? I don't know. Hmm. Anyway guys, just a quick one today, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a like, a subscribe, and a share. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye.